Hello class, I am today for my module 4 assignment, which would be the theory in film showing the movie The Whale by It's the American Drama Film that came out in 2022. That was directed by Darren Aronfinsky, I think that's how you say it. I do have uh, a little bit of notes out to the side of me just because I did decide to do the video. So I wanted to be just a little, um, just a little bit all there or reading what I was going to write down regardless. So for my first theory that I would consist, that I could put towards this movie, well, actually the quick summary of this movie was about a man named Charlie, and Charlie was, Charlie was a unhealthy English teacher that in the time, I mean, I thought the movie started off as a COVID situation, but in the time, Charlie is so obese that he does not turn on his camera as a online Zoom teacher. He can't get up, he can't walk properly. He's constantly choking on his own food because he can't chew it or he can't, doesn't even eat to the point for eating. It's just the obesity aspect, which is the mental illness behind it as well. But what I really liked about this movie is they kept it a short casting in one main area where it just took you only to his room, which kind of made you as the audience feel like you were more immersed into the film to where it showed that he wasn't able to get out or go anywhere. Charlie in the film is depressed and you find this out because he did have a boyfriend that passed away and this has a lot of there's a lot of I can't even think of the word I'm sorry resemblance and things that remind him of his boyfriend especially that makes him even more sad and depressed which caused all the unhealthy eating for instance you see him in the film open up the door to his old boyfriend's room and he couldn't even get in due to his oversized weight and all that and I think that was a good part on the actor I mean the director for kind of just showing the audience little signs of what the what the actor what Charlie felt during his whole uprising during this film the main idea behind this film as well though comes to a point where he has his last shot of redemption to make it feel like that he can get reconnected with his daughter again and this starts off with Ellie, and Ellie, his daughter, is really, really making it hard for them to reconnect as well as he did just walk out on her when they were younger. And it was just one of those situations to where she had a lot of anger going into it as well as he just had, he knew his life was coming to an end soon. And he didn't tell anybody on that. And he saw this opportunity, said he'd pay her everything he had in his wallet. He'd do her essays. He would do everything he could to kind of get this spark going again with his daughter. For my first theory, what I wanted to talk about was uh, the divorce and relationship uh, dissolution theory. And what I wanted to talk about in this was, I mean, the divorce and theory solution in general, I was just reading it through, especially from Caitlin Vasquez talking about the fact that growing up in a divorced family will extend the chances of getting divorced in the future as well as causing problems just in a marriage, I guess, for somebody in the future. So kids growing up in a divorced family usually go into these relationships in the future with the same kind of mindset, with the same type of ordeal that they work through. And I think this in the film was shown really well when they talked about how Ellie is really mad at Charlie due to the fact that Charlie cheated on his wife, which was Ellie's mom, with another guy. And then that's the boy who died, which caused his whole obesity and come up in depression. And I think the the divorce relation dissolution, comparing the two, seeing the anger that is brought on to Ellie and how she reacts and acts towards Charlie, I think really shows the aspect of that he wasn't caring enough or wasn't giving wasn't giving in enough to Ellie, which shows just how much that can affect a kid as a younger age when they don't have their parents to give them that love and kind of guidance on the way with it. So that was my first theory. And then my second theory, I was going to do Raising Children in a Diverse Society, provided by Christian Addison. And this one, I kind of wanted to get into the aspect of more or less the obesity aspect of it. So I think... The obesity that Charlie had and just for instance, like Dan the Pizza Man, where like it just shows like the new society of, I mean, obesity has never been new, especially out here in uh, the United States. But I think it just showed a lot, especially with like the new changing society of he's on Zoom. He doesn't even show his face so people know what he looks like. He is... Uh, 
trying to think like he's he's able to order food all the time he doesn't get up like and then he's raising a children all he's also trying to reconnect without having to raise his children but i would say that it kind of shows everything wrong if that makes sense so when it comes down to raising children in a diverse society when i use this theory towards it i kind of saw it more as the film was showing everything wrong on and going against especially that showing how not to raise a child and those are couldn't be differences are that was my main my main theory on it i went through it and i was thinking about it i compared it to that part of the movie the most and then also um, i did forget about this part in the film as well there is a i think it was called the new life the new life church or society but there's a kid, kid named thomas and he was a missionary and what came out of this is i feel like charlie learned and gained a lot from every person such as Thomas would come by at first and Liz or I don't know if it was Ellie thought that it was some type of relationship thing at first when he came in to try to teach him it just really helped Charlie but I think Thomas as the missionary truly wanted to help Charlie in everything he had especially knowing that he was going to go soon as well he wanted him to forgive forgive etc and I really like this part of the film as well because I think that it was really cool to show that Charlie's agony and embarrassment and pain has actually ended up showing Thomas how to wake up and he was forgiven and he had a whole second awakening just from learning off of Charlie. I really did like this film a lot though and the way it did end off was also very sad but I think it ended off in the best way possible and the happiest way possible. Uh, that is going to be the end for my module four theory and film assignment thank you